Raymond Arroyo, Fox News contributor. Raymond, good to see you here. So is Great this the smoking you. gun then, Raymond, well, uh, that he did indeed discuss these foreign business dealings with his son? Sandra, Hunter Biden is the Michael Myers of the Biden administration. He just keeps coming back. He won't go away. And every revelation from this laptop opens a new uh, vulnerability in Joe Biden. I mean, here you have him clearly contradicted with this voicemail. But Joe Biden in that call, he said, you're all clear now because of this New York Times piece that seemed to uh, shuffle Hunter Biden to the back of the controversies and the criminality re related to this uh, Chinese oil company. But all may not be clear for Joe Biden. He and Hunter shared bank accounts. Uh, the monies that he got from these very possibly illicit dealings in China, Russia, Ukraine. I mean, Hunter, in his own words, said he was doing business and his partner in this Chinese oil venture was the spy chief of China. And yet you have Joe Biden uh, profiting from this, possibly if those reports are to be believed, that they shared bank accounts and that Joe Biden and Hunter Biden were paying each other's bills. This is a little too close for comfort. And I think uh, this revelation is just opens up more questions, Sandra, that the, the Republicans are going to have to look into once they get into power. To that point, Raymond, the Washington Examiner reporting that President Joe Biden apparently <laughs> unwittingly financed his son's participation in an escort ring tied to Russia, according right. to more records from a copy of Hunter Biden's abandoned laptop. In a three-year period between November 2018 and March 2019, Hunter allegedly spent $30,000 on escorts. That was in part funded by wire transfers from Joe Biden, totaling $100,000 from December 2018 to January of 2019. That money from the president was reportedly intended for Hunter's bills. Does this spell big trouble, Raymond? Uh, I think it does. Look, we investigated President Trump for a phone call he made to the Ukrainian president. That went on for years. They had huge uh, investigations. They tried to impeach him over it. Uh, this is far more uh, hands-on, if you will. This is monies being transferred. I mean, in this case, uh, Biden wires $100,000, 30000 of which goes to pay for these escorts. But the question is, where did the monies come from? How much did Joe Biden know? And he clearly used his prestige, his name as vice president, to entertain and to wine and dine many of Hunter's business associates, many of whom went to jail, including this uh, Mr. Ho, who was the, the, the lead partner in this Chinese oil venture. Incidentally, the Chinese oil venture, Sandra, that's the one where notated that the big guy, presumably Joe Biden, would get 10% of the profits. The question is, how widespread was this conglomerate that, uh, that, that Hunter had built? And did Joe Biden cross any ethical lines by being a party to it? Those are big questions. You can plan on Republicans to continue to dig mm -hmm. in there. Uh, meanwhile, ongoing threats to the Supreme Court justices, the conservative justices on the court, and now Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> the speaker's calling out the Supreme Court's reversal of Roe v. Wade, and she's laying out possible ways to counter it, including killing the filibuster. In a letter yesterday to Democratic colleagues, she wrote, while this extremist Supreme Court works to punish and control the American people, Democrats must continue our fight to expand freedom in America. She also called Justice Clarence Thomas's concurrence on the reversal, quote, disturbing. This after a left-wing extremist showed up near the home of Justice Brett Kavanaugh earlier this month with a gun and was charged with attempted murder. Protests at the homes of conservative justices being illegal. A large crowd, again, picketed outside Justice Samuel Alito's home last night. It is horrific to see this happening. And it certainly doesn't help to have the Speaker of the House ripping into what she is labeling the, labeling the extremist yeah. Supreme Court. Raymond. No, you're, you're right. Sandra, she's amping up the volume and the tension at a time when she should try to be tamping down on these emotions. Uh, she's demonizing these justices, there's no doubt about it. When you call people extremists, when you say they're taking away rights, they didn't take away any rights. All they did was clarify the rights in the Constitution. In this case, they said there was no constitutional right to abortion. Now Nancy Pelosi is trying to use Congress to what she calls codify Roe. Guess what? 
Nancy Pelosi and the Congress do not have the authority to uh, define rights. All they can do is enforce them. That's not her job. So she can go down this path as long as she wants and blow up every filibuster known to man. It won't work as it didn't work for Harry Reid when he lowered the threshold of uh, votes needed to confirm a judge. Mitch McConnell later took that and applied it to Supreme Court justices. This never works out well. Mm. Raymond, great to see you. Thank you very much Thank for you, joining Sandra. us. Okay, good to have you.